Yeah. She's like, oh my god, a fucking rap video. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite spots to come to and eat. Um, I'm really tight with the owner. I mean, the whole old American badass thing is more just being clever. <laughs> I mean, the music is a reflection of however I'm feeling at the moment. My feelings is more in the space of what was going on in the country. Joey Badass. Is it's really just the name. It's more just about, you know, being bold and not not holding back. I'm always going to speak on what I think she needs to speak on. I'm always going to fight for what I think needs to be fought for. That's where the badass comes from. It, it's less about breaking windows. When it comes to my style, I make sure there's not a dull moment. I'm not a guy who shops for brands. Like, I'm not just going to Gucci because it's Gucci. Right. If I buy something from Gucci, like the belt I have on, it's because I just really like the design. Yeah. It could be fucking $800 or it could be $8 from the thrift store. Yeah. I was watching a Muhammad Ali interview one time, right? And he was just talking about the way, you know, he carries himself. And the reason why people see him in Rolls Royces and luxuries and things like that. He said, if I pull up to a stoplight, right? And I'm in my Rolls Royce, shining, stunting. You're more likely to listen to that man than a man if, if I was Muhammad Ali and I pulled up in the raggedy thing, you know what I'm saying? Right. I gotta make what you see attractive enough for you to even wanna be interested in hearing what I gotta say. I ain't gonna lie, that's why it took me so long to fucking get here today. Cause I'm like, yo, it's Vogue. So I'm like, what the fuck? I gotta wear something crazy. <laughs> Try five different outfits on. I'm like, yo, you know what? Cancel it. <laughs> to me, style is like something you're born with. You purchase fashion. Hey, what's good, my brother? How you doing? Chilling, man. Good. Yeah, you better put that. Yeah, in. he's a fan, but he's a friend now, bro. And I tell you, like every New York show that he's been to. I was just driving by. I'm going to work right now. Bro. Oh, I right, no doubt. Who that, bro? I was like, it's yeah, Joey. That's my man. Like, I look out for that kid, like. The fact that I have a voice and I can speak for people who don't have a voice is my superpower. Always wanted to deliver something positive that maybe the listener can gain something from it. You know, benefit the listener or learn or motivate or inspire. I get inspired by a lot of negative things and I almost want to flip it. I want to reverse the energy. We are in a collective conscious. I have a very holistic type of way of thinking. You know, I'm a very spiritual person. Crystals are like my philosopher's stones. They release electromagnetic frequencies and vibrations that help lift your frequencies and vibrations. There used to be a point where I, I wouldn't leave my house without leave wearing a crystal. There's an amethyst, real tiny amethyst on my pinky ring. I've become the crystal. I always view things from outside of my body. You know, I just, I like to keep it real with myself. Like, yo, if I wasn't me, would I fuck with this? <laughs> that's like, that's how I judge my music. I don't think I've ever felt comfortable in life. And I feel like the fulfillment of my dreams makes me feel comfortable because the main reason why I don't feel comfortable because I'm so anxious to get what I, what I wish to get done, done. That makes me restless. 